Have you ever considered why some people seem unaffected by life's chaos? Almost like they have a secret superpower to stay calm. Welcome to the fascinating world of Stoicism, where emotional detachment plays a crucial role. Imagine a time when you were stuck in traffic, in every honk, every red light, felt like a personal attack. Now, picture handling that same situation with serene indifference, not because you don't care, but because you've mastered emotional detachment. Emotional detachment doesn't mean becoming a robot. It's about cultivating inner peace and resilience, allowing you to navigate life's ups and downs without being overwhelmed by them. In Stoicism, this practice is essential because it helps you focus on what you can control and accept what you cannot. This video will guide you through 15 practical Stoic rules on how to emotionally detach from someone. Whether it's an ex-partner, a toxic friend, or a negative family member, before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss out on these life-changing insights. Let's begin our journey toward emotional freedom. The first practice involves understanding what you can control. In Stoicism, this principle is fundamental. Imagine standing at the edge of a beach, watching the waves crash against the shore. You can't control the waves, the tides, or the wind, but you can control how you react to them. This is much like our lives. We can't control other people's actions, the weather, or the unexpected events that come our way, but we can control our responses. Let's take a common scenario, a heated argument with a friend. You can't control what your friend says or does, but you can choose to remain calm and composed, responding thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. This approach not only preserves your peace of mind, but also often diffuses the tension in the situation. By focusing on what you can control, you shift your energy from frustration and helplessness to empowerment and calm. This stoic practice is about recognizing the limits of your control and directing your efforts towards your own actions and attitudes. By mastering this principle, you build a strong foundation for emotional detachment and inner peace. The second practice involves the acceptance of fate, or amor fati, which means loving one's fate. Imagine life as a grand tapestry where each thread is a part of a larger, beautiful picture. Some threads may be dull and unpleasant, while others are vibrant and joyful, but each one is essential. Amor Fati teaches us to embrace every experience, good or bad, as a necessary part of our journey. Consider a time when you faced a significant setback, maybe a job loss, a breakup, or a missed opportunity. It's natural to feel disappointed or hurt, but Amor Fadi encourages you to see these moments as integral to your story. Instead of resisting or resenting these events, try to accept them fully and find the lessons they offer. By doing so, you turn obstacles into opportunities for growth. Let's take the example of losing a job. Instead of spiraling into frustration and self-doubt, view it as a chance to explore new paths and develop new skills. This shift in perspective can help you detach emotionally from the pain and see the situation through a lens of acceptance and even gratitude. Acceptance of fate is not about passive resignation. It's about active engagement with life as it is, without wishing it were different. When you learn to love your fate, you let go of the need to control everything and find peace in the flow of life. This stoic practice fosters emotional resilience helping you navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. By embracing Amor Fadi, you cultivate a mindset that welcomes every twist and turn as a part of your unique adventure, making it easier to detach emotionally and maintain inner tranquility. The third practice involves the concept of negative visualization. Picture yourself at the beginning of a long journey. Along the way, you might encounter rough terrains, stormy weather, or unexpected obstacles. How would you prepare yourself for these challenges? In Stoicism, negative visualization is a powerful technique that involves contemplating potential misfortunes before they happen. This doesn't mean dwelling on worst-case scenarios to the point of anxiety, but rather, it's a way to mentally rehearse and prepare for life's inevitable difficulties. Let's say you are worried about an important relationship in your life, whether it's with a partner, a family member, or a friend. By practicing negative visualization, you spend a few moments imagining what it would be like if that relationship were to end. How would you cope? 
What support systems would you draw upon? How would you rebuild your life? This exercise helps you build resilience by familiarizing yourself with the emotions and strategies needed to handle such outcomes. Another example could be your job. Imagine losing your job and the immediate impact it would have on your life. Think about the steps you would take next, the skills you would leverage, and the new opportunities you might pursue. This doesn't make the potential loss any less real, but it reduces the shock and emotional toll if it does happen. By visualizing adverse situations, you reduce the power they hold over you. You become mentally prepared to face them head on, should they occur. This practice not only fosters emotional resilience, but also enhances gratitude for what you currently have. When you have considered the possibility of losing something valuable, you begin to appreciate it more deeply. Negative visualization thus acts as a double-edged sword, preparing you for life's hardships while amplifying your sense of gratitude and presence. By integrating this practice into your life, you equip yourself with a robust mental framework to handle emotional challenges making it easier to stay grounded and composed in the face of adversity. This stoic technique empowers you to detach from fears and anxieties, allowing you to live more fully and mindfully in the present moment. The fourth practice involves focusing on your own virtue. Imagine yourself as a gardener tending to your own garden. You cannot control the weather, the soil quality from beyond your garden, or even the pests that might come from outside. But you can control how you care for your plants. In Stoicism, personal virtue is akin to tending to your inner garden. It's about cultivating qualities like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance within yourself, regardless of external circumstances. When you focus on your own virtue, you shift your attention from what's happening around you to how you choose to respond. For instance, in a situation where you feel wronged or betrayed by someone close to you, it's easy to get caught up in feelings of anger or revenge. However, focusing on your virtue means choosing to act with integrity and kindness, even when it's difficult. Think of it like this, external events and other people's actions are like the changing seasons. They will come and go, and they are beyond your control. Your virtues, however, are like evergreen plants in your garden. They remain constant and can be nurtured continuously. By prioritizing your virtue, you align your actions with your values. Let's take the example of dealing with a toxic colleague at work. While you may not be able to change their behavior, you can choose to act with professionalism and respect. This approach not only preserves your peace of mind, but also sets a positive example for others. Furthermore, by focusing on your own virtue, you build a sense of self-worth that is not dependent on external validation. You begin to measure your success by your own ethical standards rather than by the unpredictable judgments of others. This internal focus empowers you to remain steady and composed amidst life's challenges. In essence, by nurturing your own virtue, you create a stable and resilient mindset that is less affected by external turbulence. This stoic practice helps you detach emotionally from situations beyond your control and fosters a deep sense of inner peace and satisfaction. By emphasizing the importance of personal virtue over external circumstances, you cultivate a life of meaning and integrity, enabling you to navigate the complexities of human relationships with grace and poise. The fifth practice involves using rationality over emotions. Imagine you're at a big family dinner, and someone makes a comment about your cooking that strikes a nerve. Your initial emotional reaction might be to feel hurt or defensive, maybe even to snap back with a sharp retort. But now, picture pausing for a moment and letting your rational mind take the wheel instead. In Stoicism, prioritizing rational thinking means evaluating situations logically, rather than being driven by your immediate emotional responses. Let's consider a lighthearted scenario to illustrate this. You're at a party and accidentally spill a drink on your friend's new shirt. Your first emotional impulse might be to feel embarrassed and start profusely apologizing in panic. Instead, try switching to rational mode. You calmly acknowledge the mishap, offer to help clean it up, and maybe even make a joke to lighten the mood. This rational response not only diffuses the situation, but also shows your friend that you're composed and considerate. Another example could be when a colleague criticizes your work in a meeting. Emotionally, you might feel attacked or undervalued. However, by using rationality, 
you can assess the feedback objectively. Is there any truth to what they're saying? Can you use this as an opportunity to improve? By approaching the situation with a clear, rational mind, you transform a potentially negative experience into a constructive one. This practice doesn't mean suppressing your emotions or pretending they don't exist. Instead, it's about acknowledging your feelings, then choosing to act in a way that aligns with reason and wisdom. By doing so, you prevent emotions from clouding your judgment and making hasty, regrettable decisions. Prioritizing rationality helps you maintain emotional detachment by focusing on thoughtful, deliberate actions rather than reactive ones. This approach not only preserves your inner peace, but also promotes more harmonious interactions with others. By practicing this stoic principle, you develop the ability to navigate life's ups and downs with a steady, rational mindset, making it easier to remain calm and composed regardless of the circumstances. Reflecting on nature and its cycles, we gain profound insights into the ebb and flow of life, which can help us emotionally detach. Imagine a vast forest with trees that shed their leaves in the fall, only to bloom again in the spring. This natural cycle of growth, decay, and renewal serves as a powerful reminder that change is a fundamental part of existence. In Stoicism, reflecting on nature encourages us to accept the cycles of life with grace and understanding. Consider the ocean tides, constantly rising and falling. Just as the tide brings in and takes away the waves, our lives are filled with moments of joy and sorrow, gain and loss. By observing these natural patterns, we learn to see our experiences as part of a larger, ever-changing process. Let's say you've recently ended a significant relationship. The pain of this loss might feel overwhelming, but reflecting on the seasons can offer comfort. Just as winter transitions into spring, your feelings of sadness will eventually give way to new opportunities and experiences. This perspective helps you detach from the immediate pain, trusting that, like nature, your life will continue to evolve. Another example is the life cycle of a butterfly. It starts as a caterpillar, undergoes a transformation within a cocoon, and emerges as a beautiful butterfly. This metamorphosis reminds us that even through challenging and seemingly insurmountable phases, transformative growth is possible. By drawing parallels between nature's cycles and our personal journeys, we cultivate a sense of patience and resilience. Reflecting on nature teaches us to embrace the present moment and accept the transient nature of our experiences. This stoic practice helps us detach emotionally by providing a broader perspective, showing that just as nature goes through cycles, so do our lives. By aligning our mindset with the natural world, we find peace in the certainty of change and the continuity of life, fostering a deeper sense of inner tranquility and acceptance. The seventh practice involves cultivating indifference to external opinions. Imagine yourself as a ship navigating through various ports. Each port represents the opinions of others, which can be favorable, critical, or indifferent. In Stoicism, the goal is to steer your ship with a steady hand, unaffected by the changing tides of public opinion. Stoics don't seek validation from others because they understand that true self-worth comes from within. Let's consider a humorous example. Imagine you're at a public speaking event, and during your speech, you notice a few people in the audience yawning and checking their watches. Your initial reaction might be to feel self-conscious or demoralized. However, by practicing indifference to external opinions, you remind yourself that people's reactions are beyond your control and often reflect more about their own state of mind than the quality of your speech. You maintain your composure, finish strong, and walk away knowing that your worth isn't determined by a few yawns in the crowd. Another scenario could be posting a photo on social media and not getting as many likes as you hoped. It's easy to fall into the trap of equating likes with self-worth. But from a stoic perspective, these external validations are fleeting and unreliable. Instead, focus on the joy and satisfaction that comes from sharing a moment that mattered to you regardless of how others react. By cultivating indifference to external opinions, you free yourself from the constant need for approval and validation. This practice helps you stay grounded in your own values and judgments, rather than being swayed by the fluctuating views of others. It encourages you to act with integrity and authenticity, 
knowing that your true worth is not dependent on external validation. By integrating this stoic principle into your life, you build a resilient mindset that is less impacted by the opinions of others, enabling you to navigate social interactions with confidence and inner peace. This practice empowers you to detach emotionally from the judgments of others, fostering a deeper sense of self-acceptance and stability, regardless of external feedback. The eighth practice involves mindfulness and living in the present. Imagine walking through a beautiful garden, feeling the soft grass beneath your feet and smelling the fragrant flowers around you. Each moment is vivid and complete, leaving no room for worries about the past or anxieties about the future. In Stoicism, Mindfulness is the art of fully immersing yourself in the present moment, appreciating it for what it is, and letting go of distractions from what was or what might be. Mindfulness anchors you in the now, giving you clarity and focus. Let's say you're out for a walk in the park. Instead of letting your mind wander to stressful thoughts about work or rehashing past conversations, you bring your attention to the sound of birds chirping, the feel of the breeze on your skin, and the rhythm of your steps. This simple act of being fully present helps you detach emotionally from external stresses and fosters a sense of peace. Another example could be having a meal with a friend. Rather than checking your phone or letting your mind drift to upcoming tasks, you focus entirely on the conversation, savoring each bite of your food and enjoying the company. This practice not only enhances your experience, but also builds deeper connections with others. Mindfulness allows you to experience life more richly and fully, free from the emotional baggage of past regrets and future worries. This stoic practice encourages you to accept each moment as it comes, finding contentment in the now. By living in the present, you reduce the emotional impact of what you cannot change and what you cannot predict, helping you to detach from sources of stress. Through mindfulness, you cultivate a state of being that is both peaceful and resilient making it easier to navigate the ups and downs of life with equanimity. By integrating this principle into your daily life, you develop a more grounded and balanced emotional state, allowing you to face each day with a calm and steady mind. The ninth practice involves finding comfort in solitude. Imagine a quiet evening spent with nothing but your thoughts and a good book. In Stoicism, solitude is not about being lonely, but about embracing the moments of aloneness as opportunities for personal growth and self-reflection. Picture a hermit crab retreating into its shell to protect itself and recharge. Similarly, taking time to be alone allows you to retreat from the hustle and bustle of daily life and focus on your inner world. This practice helps you understand yourself better, identify your strengths and weaknesses, and cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace. Consider the example of spending a weekend alone, free from social obligations and distractions. Instead of feeling lonely or isolated, you use this time to reflect on your goals, read inspiring books, or simply enjoy the tranquility of your own company. This period of solitude can be incredibly restorative, providing you with clarity and renewed energy. Another scenario is taking a solo walk in nature. Without the presence of others, you can fully immerse yourself in the sights and sounds around you, savoring the peace and quiet. This solitude allows you to connect with yourself and the natural world, fostering a sense of calm and balance. By finding comfort in solitude, you learn to enjoy your own company and rely less on external validation for happiness. This stoic practice helps you build emotional resilience as you become more self-sufficient and content with who you are. It also provides you with the mental space to process your thoughts and emotions, leading to greater self-awareness and personal growth. Embracing solitude allows you to recharge and approach life with a clearer mind and a calmer heart. By integrating this principle into your life, you develop a stronger sense of self and a deeper appreciation for the quiet moments, making it easier to detach emotionally and maintain your inner tranquility. The tenth practice involves practicing self-discipline. Imagine yourself in a scenario where you're on a strict diet, and one evening you walk past a bakery with the irresistible aroma of fresh pastries wafting through the air. Your immediate temptation might be to indulge, but practicing self-discipline means resisting that urge and sticking to your goals. In Stoicism, self-discipline is about controlling your impulses 
and making choices that align with your long-term well-being rather than giving in to fleeting desires. Let's consider a light-hearted example. You decide to wake up early every morning to meditate. The first few days go smoothly, but then comes a cold, rainy morning, and your bed feels cozier than ever. Your initial temptation might be to hit the snooze button and skip your meditation. However, by practicing self-discipline, you push yourself to get up and stick to your routine. This small act of discipline helps you start your day with a sense of accomplishment and sets a positive tone for the rest of the day. Another scenario could be working on a long-term project. There will be moments when you feel tired or uninspired, and the temptation to procrastinate might be strong. By practicing self-discipline, you commit to working on the project consistently, even when motivation wanes. This disciplined approach not only helps you achieve your goals, but also builds emotional resilience. By consistently choosing discipline over immediate gratification, you train your mind to prioritize long-term benefits over short-term pleasures. This practice strengthens your ability to manage your emotions and remain focused on your goals. Self-discipline is like a muscle that gets stronger with consistent exercise. By flexing this muscle regularly, you develop greater control over your impulses and reactions, making it easier to stay composed and resilient in challenging situations. This stoic practice fosters a sense of inner strength and stability, helping you detach emotionally from distractions and temptations that could derail your progress. By integrating self-discipline into your daily life, you cultivate a mindset that is focused, determined, and resilient, enabling you to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and confidence. The eleventh practice involves engaging in self-reflection. Imagine ending your day with a few quiet moments to yourself, reflecting on the events that transpired. In Stoicism, self-reflection is crucial for personal growth and emotional detachment. It's like looking into a mirror, not to judge or criticize, but to understand and learn. By reflecting on your actions, thoughts, and emotions, you gain insights into your strengths and areas for improvement. This practice fosters self-awareness and helps you navigate life's challenges with greater wisdom. Consider setting aside a few minutes each evening to reflect on your day. Ask yourself questions like, What did I do well today? Where could I have responded better? Did I act in accordance with my values and principles? This simple yet powerful exercise allows you to understand your behavioral patterns and identify changes you can make to improve your resilience and inner peace. A practical tip for daily reflection is to keep a journal. Each night, Write down a few key experiences of the day and your thoughts about them. This can be as simple as listing three things you are grateful for or noting any moments of emotional difficulty and how you handle them. Over time, this practice becomes a valuable tool for tracking your progress and staying mindful of your personal development. For example, imagine you had a conflict with a coworker. Reflect on your actions and emotions. Did you remain calm? How did you handle the situation? What could you do differently next time? By examining these moments, you learn to approach similar situations with greater composure and wisdom. Engaging in self-reflection also helps you detach emotionally from daily stresses. By taking a step back and examining your experiences objectively, you reduce the emotional intensity associated with them. This practice not only enhances your self-awareness, but also empowers you to make conscious, intentional choices in the future. By making self-reflection a daily habit, you cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself and your responses to the world around you. This stoic practice helps you develop a balanced and resilient mindset, enabling you to face life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. Through regular self-reflection, you build a strong foundation for emotional detachment and personal growth, leading to a more peaceful and fulfilling life. The twelfth practice involves limiting material attachments. Imagine yourself standing in your living room, surrounded by all your possessions. Your TV, your favorite chair, your collection of books. In Stoicism, material attachments are seen as potential sources of emotional vulnerability and distraction. The Stoics teach us that true freedom and inner peace come not from accumulating things, but from detaching ourselves from the need for them. Picture moving to a new city with just a suitcase. Everything you truly need fits into that small space. 
This minimalist mindset helps you focus on what truly matters. Your values, relationships, and personal growth. Rather than being weighed down by material possessions. Let's take a practical example. Imagine your phone gets lost or stolen. The initial reaction might be panic or frustration. However, by practicing the stoic principle of limiting material attachments, you remind yourself that your well-being is not dependent on any object. You can replace a phone, but your inner peace remains intact. Another scenario is decluttering your home. By intentionally reducing the number of unnecessary items you own, you create a living space that is simpler and more serene. This physical act of decluttering can also help you mentally detach from the desire for more material things, fostering a sense of contentment with less. Limiting material attachments doesn't mean you have to live ascetically. It's about recognizing that your happiness and security do not hinge on what you owe. By shifting your focus from acquiring to appreciating, you cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude for what you have and free yourself from the constant pursuit of more. This practice aligns with the Stoic belief that true wealth comes from contentment and self-sufficiency, rather than external abundance. By integrating this principle into your life, you become less attached to material possessions, and more attuned to the richness of your inner life. This Stoic practice helps you detach emotionally from the ebb and flow of material circumstances, fostering a stable and resilient mindset. By limiting material attachments, you pave the way for greater emotional freedom and a more grounded, fulfilling existence. The thirteenth practice involves embracing impermanence. Think about a sandcastle you built on the beach. For a few hours, it stands tall and proud, a testament to your creativity and effort. But as the tide comes in, the waves gradually wash it away. This impermanence does not diminish the joy you felt while building it, nor does it negate the beauty of the castle. In fact, its temporary nature makes it all the more precious. In Stoicism, embracing impermanence means recognizing that everything in life, our relationships, successes, and even our challenges, is transient. Let's consider a relationship with a dear friend. Over time, circumstances might change. People grow in different directions, and the bond may weaken. Instead of clinging to the way things were, Embracing impermanence allows you to appreciate the moments you shared without being devastated by their end. This perspective helps you honor the relationship for what it was rather than lamenting its change. Another example is a cherished project or career milestone. You might pour your heart and soul into your work, achieving great success. However, just like the sandcastle, these achievements are subject to change and eventual decline. By accepting this, you can celebrate your accomplishments without fearing their inevitable end. This mindset encourages you to give your best effort while knowing that outcomes are beyond your control. Embracing impermanence also applies to difficult times. Think about a period of intense stress or hardship. It might feel overwhelming in the moment, but understanding that this too shall pass provides comfort and resilience. Just as seasons change, so do the phases of our lives, bringing new opportunities and experiences. By embracing the transient nature of life, you learn to live more fully in the present, appreciating each moment for what it is. This stoic practice helps you detach emotionally by reducing the fear of loss and the need for permanence. It fosters a deep sense of gratitude and acceptance, allowing you to navigate the ebb and flow of life with grace and equanimity. Through this practice, you cultivate a mindset that is open to change and resilient in the face of life's impermanence leading to a more balanced and fulfilling existence. The fourteenth practice involves seeking wisdom through reading. Imagine opening a timeless book and stepping into a world of profound insights and guidance. In Stoicism, reading classical texts is like having a conversation with the greatest minds of the past, offering you wisdom and perspective on how to live a virtuous and composed life. Let's explore some classic Stoic texts that you can start with. One of the essential works is, Meditations, by Marcus Aurelius. Written as a series of personal notes by the Roman Emperor, this book provides profound reflections on how to handle adversity with grace and maintain inner peace. It's like a personal guidebook to navigating life's challenges with Stoic resilience. Another important text is, Letters from a Stoic, by Seneca. This collection of letters offers practical advice on dealing with everyday issues 
from managing emotions to facing hardships. Seneca's insights are timeless, providing a relatable and compassionate approach to Stoic philosophy. Then there's Discourses by Epictetus, a former slave who became one of the most influential Stoic philosophers. His teachings emphasize the importance of focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you cannot. A fundamental Stoic principle that helps you achieve emotional detachment. One of my personal favorites is The Enchiridion by Epictetus, which is a concise manual of Stoic ethical advice. This small and accessible book is packed with practical wisdom that you can easily apply to your daily life. It serves as a handy reminder of the core Stoic beliefs and practices helping you stay grounded and focused on your path to inner peace. By seeking wisdom through these classic texts, you enrich your understanding of Stoic philosophy and gain valuable tools for navigating life's ups and downs. Reading these works allows you to draw upon the collective wisdom of the Stoic tradition, providing you with timeless strategies for emotional resilience and personal growth. This practice not only deepens your knowledge, but also inspires you to live a life of virtue and composure. Through the words of these great philosophers, you find guidance and support on your journey toward emotional detachment and inner tranquility. The 15th practice involves building a stoic community. Imagine you're on a long and challenging hike, navigating rocky terrains and steep climbs. Now, picture having a group of friends with you, offering encouragement, sharing their experiences, and providing guidance along the way. In Stoicism, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who share your values and goals can be incredibly supportive and uplifting. Joining a Stoic community, whether online or in person, provides you with a network of people who understand and practice the same principles. These communities offer a space where you can exchange ideas, discuss challenges, and learn from each other's experiences. Let's consider the example of an online Stoic group. By participating in discussions, sharing your insights, and reading about others' journeys, you gain new perspectives and practical advice that reinforce your commitment to Stoic practices. This collective wisdom helps you stay motivated and grounded, especially during difficult times. Another example is attending Stoic meetups or workshops. Engaging in face-to-face -face interactions with fellow Stoics allows you to build deeper connections and find inspiration in their stories. These gatherings provide opportunities to practice Stoic exercises together, such as meditation or self-reflection, fostering a sense of camaraderie and mutual support. By building a Stoic community, you create a support system that helps you stay accountable to your goals and principles. This network of like-minded individuals offers encouragement and understanding, making it easier to navigate life's challenges with resilience and composure. Moreover, being part of a community helps you realize that you are not alone in your journey. You share a common path with others who are also striving to cultivate inner peace and emotional detachment. This sense of belonging and shared purpose provides strength and comfort, reinforcing your dedication to Stoic principles. By integrating this practice into your life, you build a foundation of support that empowers you to live more fully and mindfully. Building a Stoic community enhances your personal growth and emotional resilience, fostering a deeper sense of connection and well-being. It allows you to draw strength from the collective wisdom and experiences of others, enriching your journey toward inner tranquility and fulfillment. In summary, these 15 Stoic practices offer powerful tools for emotional detachment and inner resilience. By understanding what you can control and accepting fate, you shift your focus from external chaos to inner peace. Negative visualization prepares you for potential hardships, while focusing on your own virtue guides you to act with integrity. Prioritizing rationality over emotions and reflecting on nature's cycles help you maintain a balanced perspective. Cultivating indifference to external opinions and mindfulness keeps you anchored in the present. Comfort in solitude and practicing self-discipline build emotional strength. Engaging in self-reflection and limiting material attachments foster contentment. Embracing impermanence teaches acceptance and gratitude, while seeking wisdom through reading enriches your understanding. Finally, building a Stoic community provides support and inspiration on your journey. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, 
but how you react to it that matters. By integrating these stoic principles into your daily life, you cultivate a mindset of serenity and strength, allowing you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and composure. If you found value in this video, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Thank you for joining us on this journey toward emotional freedom and inner peace.